smoke. Hello, my name is FPV Wine. Welcome back to the channel. This is my third, fourth, fourth video on my FPV journey. And my goodness, thank you ever so much to all the positive comments in my top 10 tips to beginners. Blown away by the feedback in the community in the FPV land. So thank you to all the comments and the subscribers. It's going through the moon, so thank you very much. On that 10 FPV tips video, I had a number of comments and one comment in particular that I'd like to cover on today's episode is to do with a smoke stopper. So I had a question from CC0122 who says, could you please tell us how exactly the smoke stopper would have worked in your Crux 35 situation? Now, I cannot recommend highly, strongly enough to get one of these bad boys. Um, on my build, which you can also check out, um, my first ever FPV build here is in bits, it's broken again because I love crashing. The FC and ESC alone is £55. So I cannot recommend getting one of these enough. I think it was £8. I wish I'd had it for my pre-builds, my Crux 35. I wish I'd just got one of these as well because when you're repairing, dabbling with your FPV drone, this will save you money. And I think it was eight pounds, an FC, an ESC board alone that you could fry will cost you 55 pounds. So get yourself one of these. And I will explain now and get run through why you should use one of these. This one has an XT30 and an XT60 adapter. And it's also got a couple of modes, which is awesome. You've got the on off button. It's got a green LED. You've got red for a short, which Thankfully, at the moment, I haven't had that come up, but if there's a short, the red light comes on and does not start your FPV drone, or i.e. blow some smoke, you know. Smoke is something burning, we do not want that. And then this one's got a really cool little feature, there's a button on it that gives you one amp and two amp thresholds. So in my case, uh, I didn't have one of these, and I was trying to make my Crux 35 uh, rebuild if you're new to the channel, you may not know that I blew up my Crux 35 um, frame within seconds of having it, 24 hours, and I put it into the Flyfish 35 Volador. Uh, it's been brilliant, would not, bit of grass, would strongly, strongly recommend this frame, it's brilliant. However, the VTX is at the back and the FC-esque is in the middle and I wanted to make it together. I wanted to combine them in this middle bit here and I've done it twice and I don't know why I haven't learned from the first time, um, but I sandwiched them in the middle and I didn't have a smoke stopper and the second time I did it, there must have been something connecting, something touching, possibly why there might be VTX issues with that VTX and smoke. That was a learning curve for me. Thankfully, nothing died of my Crux 35, but I definitely needed one of these. This smoke stopper, any smoke stopper, will, in theory, stop any short circuits happening on your board. And this is important, not just for pre-builds, but if you're fixing anything on your drone that you've broken and you want to go back and have a fiddle, resolder, you need one of these, because even the best solderers may have done something human error-wise and this will save you. Bit of bit of solder dropping on the board, anything, a little bit of bo a bobble of solder drops on the board, shorts something out, this will stop that. And then you can go ahead and diagnose it and then reuse this, see if you've sorted out the problem. Also recommended on top of one of these is a multimeter. I don't actually have one yet, but a multimeter is also fantastic to diagnose where the problem is arising. Second reason for having one of these is a smoke stopper usually means where there's fire there's smoke or the other way around where there's smoke there's fire. As we all know dangerous hobby regarding fire so this will stop any unfortunate fire risks. The best part of these is that they are reusable. You can reuse these beautiful things called the smoke stopper. Reusable this one I think cost eight or nine pounds from Unmanned Tech unsponsored video eight or nine pounds can save you thousands of pounds over the long run of your FPV life journey enjoyment. So a quick recap, protects your circuit boards in your drone, safety, 
will hopefully stop any smoke or fire happening to your drone, especially if you're in an unsafe environment like your house, probably would not recommend doing uh, repairs to your drone in the house or testing after repairing your drone in the house, even with a smoke stopper, get somewhere safe away from flammable materials when you're retesting repairs. Reusable, you can keep using them. You can use, mine's got XT60, XT30, different batteries, different drones, one tool, strongly recommended, really highly strongly recommended. I'm gonna do a run through of how to use it. On one end, you have the XT30 and XT60 connector to your battery. And then you've got this part that goes to your drone. So this one is XT30, plug in the drone on one side, and then you plug in the battery to the other. This will light up. And if there's no short circuit, it's perfect. You press this button on mine and it starts it. If there is no short circuit, it will start up the drone and you're good to go. You can then take that one away and start your drone knowing that there's no short circuit, which is what you want. Same with the XT60. Plug in the XT60 into there, XT60 there. Lights will come on. If it's not short circuited, good to go. Same again. Conclusion, get yourself a smoke stopper, save money from not killing your drones when making or repairing them and safe flying, get out there. If you've not already, like and subscribe. I will be answering any questions in the comment section from my very, very new, fresh beginner brain. Thank you for watching. Hopefully that's helped somebody out there with what a smoke stopper is and why you should get one. Uh, if you like this video and you've not checked out my other videos, I've also done a build on this one, which I've now broken. So there's a my first ever build of an FPV drone. And I've also made 10, 10 tips for beginners, which again, as I say, thank you ever so much to the community. Some really good feedback. If you've not gone and watched it, go and watch, check it out. Thanks for watching. Until next time, go and enjoy flying safely. Go and enjoy flying safely.